having problems mainly in, with my arms and shoulders, a lot of pins and needles. And my digestion has improved so much, <gasps> but my gut was just transformed. I've been sleeping really well since. Deeply into there. Yeah. Yeah. And then give me arm and leg and hold. So much yeah. better. And hold. Perfect. This abdominal massage is called an anmofu, part of traditional Chinese medicine. So that is so much better there yeah. now. Yeah. So this is the liver and hold. Okay. Let's have a look at the neck. Oh, that feels good. Mm. I'm just raising the head, creating a line, anchoring under the occiput. Hi. Hello. Lovely to come in. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it smells so lovely in here. Does it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I use a lot of essential oils, so I think yeah. it just infuses into the so nice. walls. <laughs> oh, I've got to say yes, because I've gained so much from So, <clears throat> Sam, this is your second treatment. You mm -hmm. came last week for your first core therapy. Mm. You found me on YouTube. I did, yes. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I have posted quite a few core therapy on YouTube now. So before we start, mm -hmm. and I'm interested to see what comes up today, um, let's pick a card. Did you do this last week? I did, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So let's see what comes up with you. Okay. Let's take, uh, I think this one. Forgiving. Forgiving. Valuing honesty and commitment, I softly let go of the past and enable others to change. You know, that's such a powerful one. It's really difficult to forgive. And um, I've noticed with, <laughs> personally, so with myself and with clients where this card has come up, it can raise things. So wouldn't it be wonderful just to forgive Everything, everyone, all the time, mm. including yourself. Mm. Mm. One is to forgive yourself for how you have treated yourself in the past. Another is to forgive how others have treated you in the past. That's, I don't know which is the worst out of those, you know, mm. it all depends what you've been through. And Another is to go forward and to forgive into the future. Mm -hmm. And um, that's really powerful because who knows what's going to happen. Mm. And we all need to have this lovely heart of love and light. And whatever happens is okay. And just trust that it's always for the best Mm. ending mm. Um, mm. but yeah I mean there are a lot of meditations that work on forgiveness because it just shows a lot of people might have issues with that things that have happened to them or to members of their family etc in the past so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so does that mean anything yeah. to you yeah yeah, yeah. it is um yeah, so I find these cards quite interesting. The last one last week was also quite interesting. What, do you remember what you got last um, week? It was wisdom, trusting that what you need to receive will come and you will be wiser for it. I think they're really good, really thought-provoking as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this is your card for this week. Yeah. So when things happen and you just think, oh, I need to make a decision or I need to move on from this, mm -hmm. Yeah. blocked whatever's going on mm -hmm. then just think oh actually maybe this might help me you know yeah. just to be able to move on from this mm. stage mm. Um, and also because I put it on the windowsill it resonates to the room it resonates to all my other clients this week and to me I'm very mm. grateful are you happy to share why you chose to come for core therapy yeah, so I had, like you said, I'd, I'd found on YouTube and I'd seen your work and I thought you were great, but I was struggling because I'd been having problems 
mainly in, with my arms and shoulders, a lot of pins and needles and a lot of um, discomfort. Um, and I think I saw one of the core therapies and it was particularly you working on neck release and I thought, oh, that looks like it could be helpful. But what was interesting was last week, I know uh, we didn't film, but last week you also picked up some um, around my, the, my guts and, and that this last week has just been completely different. My digestion has improved so much. <gasps> So I'm still having problems with the pins and needles, but my gut was just transformed. So, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more I can be doing on that journey, but it was made a noticeable difference. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I was really, really happy with that. Oh, yeah. good. Mm. And yet your abdomen wasn't something that you particularly no. highlighted. No, no. But the core therapy brought it up as yeah. a priority. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's been hard this week because it's been my birthday, so oh. it's been very difficult not to celebrate. Um, but I've I've been really mindful about it, but also I've just noticed just after the treatment, just a lot of um, almost release and you know moving and tummy gurgling and stuff and it was just like it was very different so oh, yeah that yeah. sounds great yeah. tummy gurgling is great. <laughs> right now, right now. it shows it's yeah. healing it shows it's softening yeah. you know yeah. you want it to be soft so that it's not cramping up yeah. and stopping that lovely movement that should be happening yeah naturally yeah so. lovely okay so pins and needles priority mm -hmm. okay mm. and Anything, any other changes, like how's your sleep? Um... Sleep's better. It is better. Um, it was interesting the first night after the therapy, it, it was probably worse. And I did wonder, because you did say sometimes you can, I don't know. It, 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 repatterning. Repatterning. Mm. Um, but I've been sleeping really well since. It's more when I wake up, it's still the sensations are still there or I feel but I have noticed I'm more mindful like my handbag is quite heavy so I'm trying to lighten that load because I'm thinking maybe I'm carrying some weight and load that's not great and things like that but mm -hmm. yeah do you know I used to carry a handbag everywhere um, and since Covid and I don't know, not going out so much or not wanting to have to clean everything that you take out and bring yeah. home. Yeah. I don't have a handbag anymore. Yeah. It's making me rethink what 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 am I carrying all this for? Yeah. Um and actually um I have like a little crossover that I should probably use a bit more often because it's really only for person, essentials. Person keys. Car keys, maybe glasses. Yes. Yeah. And phone. And phone. And that's it really. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I do need to rethink that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you want to get yeah. on the couch? Okay. So I've been going through your notes and noticed, like you say, last week we mainly concentrated on abdomen. I did do a little bit of shoulder work. I did some arm repatterning, but I haven't done there's a lot more to give in core it depends what comes up what yeah. your body tells me yeah. but uh, let's see today so I'll just put the couch up a little okay so can you give me just an arm at the moment raise it and hold okay and hold nice can you raise a leg and hold lovely and hold okay can you raise two together and hold no and hold mm, it's an effort <laughs> let's see what's going on two together and hold Nope, okay, you're not dehydrated. Can you upturn your finger, touch the roof of your mouth, the back of the dome, but not the sicky place? Uh -huh. <laughs> Give me this arm and leg and hold. Better, I just want to double check that. Can you put a finger from this hand in the same place and give me arm and leg and hold? 
Mm, no, not convinced. Oh, it's not going to be the abdomen again, is it? <laughs> it might be. Oh, you can release. Do you mind if I just have a little yeah, look? That's fine. Yeah, that's Yeah. I just have a feel of your tummy here. Sorry about my cold hands. No, it's fine. The weather's changed, hasn't it? Yes. So much cooler. Today, it was totally different. Yeah, even normal rain, not yeah. a thunderstorm. Yeah, that feels so much better it than does. last week. It does. It's yeah. so, I mean, I could hardly, it was so painful when you were hardly pressing. And like now, it doesn't feel bad at all, but. Yeah, okay. So just where I was touching, can you get yeah. yeah, two fingers from either hand deeply into there? Yeah. Yeah. And then give me arm and leg and hold. So much yeah. better. Yeah. You can tell as well. <laughs> and this is only your second core yeah. therapy and you're yeah. already starting to tell what's a strong and weak test. Yeah. yeah. Looks like I, I might have to say, give you another arm now. But I have to say, I, I can't imagine that you can just, it can be fixed overnight. And like, do you know what I mean? So okay. it doesn't surprise me. Okay. I think I didn't, you know. Okay. Yeah. Right, just like we did last time, I'd like to check all the other organs because yeah. I want to have a baseline yeah. so that when we treat you and retest, we can see a difference. Yeah. So can you have a flat hand over here? Uh, let's give me your arm and hold. Okay, so not great. Yeah, mm -hmm. quite squadgy. Mm -hmm. And then just ends of fingers like that here. Not pointy, but end. That's it. Lovely. And hold. No. Again, it's, it's an effort. So pointy fingers now in the middle between your lower ribs. And hold. Okay. Better. Um, ends of fingers here. And hold. Oh, that's okay. That's your stomach organ. And then with this line of your finger tucked. Oh, that's yeah, it. You I remember, remember that one? <laughs> yeah and hold yeah that's good as well spleen so now houston valve which is yeah. about there two fingers pointed yeah, in i can feel that already ah and mm. hold okay fractionally soft yeah. and then two fingers pointed here and hold oh mm -hmm. no. okay so you can release that that's called ren it's a chinese meridian right yeah okay. yeah that's really important so um the what we just tested so far i've got a couple more to go were mm. liver gallbladder anxiety point stomach was good spleen was good houston valve could be better and ren could be better mm. so i'm just going to have a look at another couple Give me your arm and hold. Oh, mm. better than it was last week. It, it could improve mm. and hold. Same again, yeah. Mm. So I want you, what it should feel like when I'm testing a strong muscle, because I've already found that that arm is strong, mm. is it should just go with absolutely no e effort mm. at all mm. and like rock solid, mm. no wavering at all, mm. no squadginess, and obviously certainly mm. not weak. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you another abdominal massage <laughs> right now, if that's okay. That's yeah. right. I have been warming some oil up. So I'm going to give you some tissue. Would you use the same oils that you did last time or would you test for different oils? Yeah, you mm. would. Because mm. you're a different person this week, week too. Than last yeah, week. I wasn't sure if that was yeah. the case. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it might come up with the same ones. Yeah. So can you tuck that into yeah. your lower t shirt and that round your waistband, yeah. but so that I've still got access to full abdomen? So. Just having a little look at essential oils. So for abdomen, and I'm not going to look at what we used last week. I don't want to be influenced. So I'm thinking more abdominally. We're going for nutmeg, ginger, frankincense, basil, cinnamon, grapefruit, mandarin. Mm, geranium because it would be hormonal. I'm wondering if stress is involved so let's bring in bergamot. We've got frankincense anyway, clary sage because it could be hormonal stroke menopause. Um, 
and then more digestive we've got peppermint, lemon, oh maybe even clove, a big hitter. Okay we've got quite a few here we might not test them all, it depends how many come up strong. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to know which is which, <laughs> which is great. So you can't have an influence over it psychologically. So before we start, with this hand, can you give me little finger and thumb and hold? Really strong. And then in the other hand, hold this against your abdomen so it's touching you there. And then I'm going to come back to this and hold really strong okay and hold okay mm. we don't like clove <laughs> it is quite strong <laughs> another one and hold really strong there was just a tiny movement i am being picky and hold oh amazing and hold Perfect. Right, we've definitely got three at least. And hold again. And hold. Okay, I'm just going to look what we've got so far and see if we can make a nice mix out of those. So we've got cinnamon, frankincense, basil, ginger, and geranium. I'd like some fruit or flour in there to soften it. So I'm just looking at another and hold really strong okay do you want to choose out of the yeses or shall no. I oh, yeah yeah you can choose. okay So I'm choosing cinnamon, ginger, so it sounds like a curry at the moment, mm -hmm. and mandarin. So it's a nice orangey colour because mm. of the mandarin. nice birthday yes it was lovely thank you we had a meal the night before which wasn't my birthday but just a meal out and then um, my birthday was actually Sunday so we just stayed at home and my parents came over mm. it's really nice oh yeah very relaxing I was in your village the other day oh really mm. On Were you cycling? Or? No, we weren't cycling. Um, there was a lot of people cycling through the village on Sunday. There it? certainly was, mm. because I, I was driving and noticed, and I mm. thought it made me want to be on my bike. <laughs> um, I think you're brave cycling these lanes. Really? Yeah, I suppose if you if you know it, but cars just fly through, mm. and like it always worries me. Mm. You know. But it is nice. It's, it's a nice. They are nice cycle paths and mm. routes and stuff. Mm. Lovely villages all the way around the hill. Yeah, yeah. Now my husband Jez, uh, people know on camera, mm. um, did it yesterday actually. Twenty-seven miles all the oh, way wow. around the hill. Oh wow! Yeah, including Pershaw and other little loops. Mm. Well, he's quite fast, mm. um, and he did stop and have a coffee, but. Mm. Um, 27, so that would probably take him an hour and a half. Mm. Wow, that is fast. Yeah. 
He loves it. Yeah, beautiful. And you know, on a bike, you hear everything. Yeah. You see everything because you can see above the hedges often. Mm. You see all the birds because you're nice and quiet. Mm. It's a lovely way to be. Mm. So, this abdominal massage is called an Anmo Fu, part of traditional Chinese medicine, and traditionally it would be given really deeply. Mm, yeah, mm. like really painfully, probably. Well, if it's yeah. needed, it probably. Mm. Yeah, if it's your first be. one, it might be painful, mm. but mm. you sort of get used to them, you know mm. what's coming, plus mm. your body softens over time because mm -hmm. it knows. Yeah. Um, but today might feel different to the last time that we mm, treated it you. It already does. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's not... It wasn't painful, painful. It was just uncomfortable, <laughs> yeah. if that makes sense. It wasn't like, you went, at, you know, it, but it was definitely... I don't think it's selling it at the moment. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it wasn't, wasn't painful. <laughs> it was definitely felt like it needed some attention, so it was getting attention and it needed it. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, so I have it done to me. Do you? Yeah. I'm having one next week. Mm. So I'm going up to Leek in Staffordshire. Oh, are you? Where they teach core. Ah, okay. And it's an amazing centre. I think there's four ladies there now that uh, give core therapy and uh, yeah so Jez and I are booked in oh, and I'm okay. going to do a day of uh, what they call clinical practice so I'm shadowing the team and helping out and asking questions and making notes and mm. Mm. just putting my time in I do it once a year just to keep my brain yeah, tuned in to what's new and, yeah yeah that's interesting that's good and they can correct me if I'm doing anything wrong. Because mm. as therapists, you often work on your own. You're not normally in the center of mm. two, three, 20 of you. Mm. You work solely. And say if you qualified 20 years ago, and yes, you have to do your CBD, your, is it CBD? Continue, oh, CPD, oh, <laughs> not CBD. Um, Yes, you have to do your continuous professional development, but that could be in a different therapy. It doesn't have to be in the uh, therapy that you first qualified oh, really? in. Yeah, oh, just holistic therapists, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, it, it helps if you do, but you don't have to. Yeah. Um, and I've got a whole stream of therapists I that I say, offer. Yeah, you know? I was going to say. And you can't a do you like a refresher course in all five mm. ten therapies mm. you know every year no. so say if some of those sort of wane a little or you mm. slightly forget or you start going off at your own tangent yeah. and it might be wrong I mean yeah. who's to say what's wrong because mm. if it's your way and you've added things and you've taken off what doesn't work because you know through experience then yeah what's wrong and right you just know through experience really but yeah it is worth going and having a sort of recheck and have someone say oh don't do that and or do mm. this slightly different or oh, that's great do more of that mm -hmm. you know yeah and is it sort of two ways so for example you like you just said you might be applying it and then thinking actually i hadn't thought about that that's a really interesting oh yeah take on it or whatever uh, yeah so i'm learning the all the time yeah, yeah absolutely mm -hmm. yeah I can see the orange of the mandarin. Mm -hmm. You've been tangoed on your tummy. That's okay. I could do with a bit of a fake tan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so overlapping thumbs out from the umbilicus, out to the to the waist, the obliques, softening and stretching just gently those muscles and fascia outwards, reminding them to relax. And then out the other way, like a star shape. And each area, um, when you're having it done, each area feels just slightly different because mm. of course, 
the abdomen isn't a mirror image like maybe the rest of the body might be. You know, there's different things going on in different sides. You've got large liver over mm -hmm. here on your right hand side, yeah. So that's the thing that I was going to focus on and I never got round to it because of too many celebrations. But I have um, bought my celery and bought my aloe vera gel. And I'm hoping I can start next week. Awesome. Mm. If I can take some on holiday with me. Awesome. my suitcase. Brilliant. Mm. So I sell aloe vera gel as well. So if you want, ever wanted to source it from me. Yes, I um, I got the one that you provide. So I saw Forever that. Living. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but... Um, I should have just come and got it, really. I was thinking I was like, just get it in the post and it was quicker. And yeah, it that's all right. Quickly. But, but if um, you message me, I can get it posted yeah. to you. Oh, great. Mm. Oh, brilliant. In future. Yeah, that's all right. It. Yeah, we drink it every day. I actually put it in our smoothies. Do you? Mm. So you, I mix so you it can with. Mix it. Okay. You can. Um, I think the way that Forever Living recommend doing it is first thing in the morning on an empty abdomen. Mm. Mind you, I say the same for celery. So now you're mm. thinking, do I do that mm. with the celery mm. or with the aloe? Mm. So what I do is we drink the celery, have a few minutes, and then we drink our smoothie, mm -hmm. which has got fruit, uh, fruit juice, our multivitamins and our ome vegan omega in there. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I put a little bit of protein shake, uh, mm -hmm. a vegan protein shake in. Um, obviously no sugars, just, just natural fruit, yeah. fruit acids. Um, what else do I put in? Aloe vera. Oh, is your, oh so is your base like uh, water or coconut water or, or? Juice. Just juice. Juice, like apple juice. Right, you know, okay. you want like yeah. a non-acidic, yeah, yeah. As it was least acidic as possible and least sugary mm -hmm. um, but I top up with boiling hot water from the kettle oh that's mm. interesting because it's better for the abdomen to absorb ah, when it's not body temperature sure. fluids mm. it's not a shock mm -hmm. and it can use it far more readily quickly mm -hmm. yeah rather than having to warm it first yeah um, whether you wanted to do that on a hot day it's up to you yeah um, but no, I don't put milks in. I know no. some people do to make it creamier. Yeah. Um, we, we don't find we need that. No. But that's, I think it's personal preference, yeah. really. Also, I put a big nugget of ginger and a big nugget oh, of nice. raw turmeric in oh, as well. Wow. Turmeric root. Really? Yeah. I love ginger. Good. I've never used well, turmeric you've got, like it, that. you've got it on you now. Yeah, that's true. So you know the mandarin. What what would that have been picked up? What would is that stress or is that what how? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, um, I said when I was testing them mm. they were, that they were all big hitters and I needed something to sort of soften them and refresh mm. Mm. and of course all fruits, so had citrus fruits are mm. refreshing mm. so I tested grapefruit, lemon, bergamot and mandarin. Mm -hmm. um, the, I didn't test the others because you had so many yeah. passes, yeah. but uh, mandarin's a really good all-rounder because it hardly has any contraindications, right. meaning reasons yeah. not to use, to use it. Um, so it's fine with preg pregnant women, for instance, and oh, wow. lots of lots of other uh, body types or, or ailments that you'd normally have to be careful with with other mm. oils. Mm like high blood pressure or epilepsy, mm. Mm. heart issue. Mm. The only thing about mandarin is I wouldn't want you to go sunbathing yeah. with your abdomen after this because yeah. it would pig pigment the skin. Yeah. So that is so much better there yeah. now. Yeah. So this is the liver, which is partly exposed under the rib, partly protected and hidden behind the rib, but that was really tight earlier, mm. so that feels so much better. Yeah, it, it's great how quickly the amnofu yeah. works. Tell you what else I've started to do, is you had a video on um, 
a lymph shower. Yeah. And I've been doing that. That's great. It's really good. It's really good. Really All good. these and places here. Here was really tender. So yeah. I was kind of doing it more more frequent there. Yeah. Is it getting better there? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. I might post a link to that here so that you so. guys can see it. I think I did that as a celebration when I was at something like one thousand subscribers. That's, right. mm. that's a long time ago now. Mm. Maybe a year ago. I don't know. I was, um, when we spent last week, and you were saying about your um, the chakra, the chakras, and your videos on that. That's why I was going back that far because oh. I was looking for them, and then I saw that, and I thought I didn't even know that's what that you had limp no flare. Oh, big one. Yeah, a big factory. And actually, here. I was yeah. thinking, I thought I'd pulled a muscle. Uh, because it was a bit t tender, oh. and I thought, actually, I wonder if it's that. So I started doing yeah, it. just full of waste. Mm. Just needs to be. Mm. It's okay. You can move now. Mm. Stimulate. Mm. <laughs> okay. Give me three nice deep breaths. That was better than last time. And again, three deep breaths. Okay. Well done. It's like going down a step mm. with that one. Mm. Okay, let's just have a little feel. I haven't asked you if you've just had your lunch. No. Okay. Yeah, good. okay. <laughs> I should have thought we had to. I did have a late, I had brunch, but it was about half past ten. So. Good, good plan. <laughs> Oh, that's so much better. Even even though you say mm. your tummy's been a lot better than mm. this week, it's gonna mm. it's gonna balance out a bit now. I think. Thank you. Yeah, the tissue's gone all yellow with the mandarin. <laughs> just leave your t-shirt up at the moment. I'm just going okay. to retest those areas before you before we carry on. Okay. Okay, so, can you put a flat hand there? Give me an arm and hold. Mm, oh. Need some more help. And then ends of fingers here and hold. Fine, gallbladder and hold. Could oh. be better. And two fingers deeply in there and hold. Much better. And two fingers in there and hold. Oh, hello, Ren. <laughs> and then you can release your hand. Give me an arm and hold. That's better. And last one and hold. Good. Actually, we are going to do one more. We're just going to test the ICV. So two fingers in there and hold. Oh, much better. Right. Okay. So, so liver. Liver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, what else? And Wren. Wren. Mm. Liver and Wren. Okay. okay, so just going to go back to that very first foundation test. So arm and leg together and hold. Okay, still a bit soft and hold. That's much better. So I'm just going to have a little feel of your right hip. Relax, relax. So I'm just feeling into the edge of that sacrum, really giving it a push. And then hold. Okay. Okay, so it's a right ipsy, which 
it was last week, but your left yeah. wasn't clever either. So right as well as ICV. And we did a am no foo, am no foo with, and so it was all of them practically. And then we need to be treating the wren liver. I'll give you a liver purge. So let's move on. Can I have this arm and this leg and hold? Fine. <laughs> and hold. Nope. <laughs> give me this arm and hold. Okay, bit of an effort. And hold. Oh, elbow. Mm. Mm -hmm. And hold. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Falling and apart. Hold. And hold. Okay. <laughs> Last one. And hold. Okay. All right. There was a mix. It just shows it's not a weak arm that's the problem mm. because it went strong occasionally. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So a few other things need looking at. Um, can you turn over, please? Can you bend a knee? Can you raise the knee off the couch? I'm going to push here. You're going to hold up and hold. Okay, bit of an effort. And all the way down, this one up and hold. Okay, let's have a look at the neck. Yeah, okay. So a double glute max failure is all to do with this lovely bone here, quite a big bone called the C2. And that's probably quite sore, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Okay, relax down, relax, relax, relax. That's it, lovely. So just giving your back a little tweener, Chinese massage, rocking the spine, pushing directly on the spine, the sacrum, the hips, the scapula, using them as a lever to work on the rest of the spine and the hips getting them rocking from side to side. Your tum is making some lovely groaning noises. Right here, mm -hmm. yeah. That's probably the reason for your pins and needles. Mm. This one here. using my thenar muscle, the base of the thumb and the heel of the hand to softly, because I'm using muscle, push and agitate into the side of the spine, creating warmth, movement, blood flow and chi. Putting my elbow against the, my hip in order to use it as a pivot point against which I've got really strong pressure against the hip 
moving in a really nice sort of, uh, it's like a figure of eight. As you may notice when you walk that our, your hips move in a figure of eight, like this. <laughs> Picking up the soft fascia muscle without trying to pull the hair. Mm, tight up here. Yeah. Don't think I've got time today, Sam, but what I'd really like to do is put a couple of cups up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you okay with cupping? Yeah. yeah. Good. It's got a really nice bounce, springing back. Good sign. Quite often my clients think that that noise is my tummy. Mm -hmm. It sounds very loud, doesn't it? <laughs> it's very happy. It's releasing and having a little party. It's going mm. Maybe it's hungry. Maybe I've created space. Maybe. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Mm. Yeah, it's a wobbly walk, shifting each vertebra like I'm walking on them left to right. And sometimes I go all the way down to the sacrum. Yeah, and I can lean against the sacrum because the sacrum actually protrudes more vertically here, putting my full weight and strength. The sacrum can take a lot of pressure, rocking it side to side like it's walking. Yeah, and back up, moving those muscles, bones, all those connections. And then up into the shoulders. Yeah, oh, fantastic. I want to get into that tissue there. Okay, so this will help the shoulder as well. I'm just going to give it a wing stretch. Relax down. Lovely, nice and floppy. Relax. Oh, lovely. That's a good clip. And let your elbow go. That's it. I know it's there. Strange move. Really good. You're trusting me with that weight. Fantastic. Well, I grab the edge and underneath underneath the scapula to pick it up and pull. And then a scapula float. I have a feeling there imbalanced here. I can see they're twisted over that way. So just tuning into that balance.
and then onto legs. Toes. <laughs> so separating the toe pad underneath the big toe from the rest of the foot to create some space down where the thyroid is in the body so it's not Im impinged or tight. more over. Nice, lovely. Mm, clicky ankle. And down, 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 down. Really warm. Mm. The intention is really high. I can really feel the very powerful, good intention. Such a lovely feeling, I could stay there all day. It's like one of the deepest meditations just sends you to another place in connection with essence.
Okay, very slowly can you turn over onto your back, Sam? So just, just for a couple of minutes, kind of gently give the liver some attention. First of all, just how you feel, what it's telling me. Trying to find it. Sometimes they recede, depends how we've been treating them really, but they can recede and recoil back up under the ribs. They don't want to come out and play. They don't sit where they should. There it is. Okay, so it can be quite sensitive. And the liver likes being cool. Unlike the kidneys that love heat and warmth, the liver likes cool, fresh. It relates to a spring green color. Nice, lovely. So in your mind's eye, Sam, just visualize, imagine the color spring green, like a grass green. There we are, it's softening. And then with three long out breaths, repeating the sound. Lovely. and what doesn't cooperate, where there might be tightness, subluxations and fixations. Lovely, relax, go heavy, 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 heavy. Beautiful, really trusting, that's great. And just raising the head, creating a line anchoring under the occiput. And stretching out. 
having a look at the cervical spine in the neck, seeing how it feels, just with some gentle touching. It's more like reassurance kind of touching at the moment. It might feel a bit tight in places, but yeah, mainly higher up. Mm. Oh. And then on the spinal processes, helping the neck to shift, increase its flexibility over. Lovely. Good. And the other side. again, making it lion and releasing back beautiful, even better. Heavy, 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 heavy. shoulder again to stretch the neck but also the shoulder arm through the trapezius deltoid sternocleidomastoid nice bounces good sometimes I do that I try and bounce but it doesn't recoil back which isn't a good sign that this one is and just softening, massaging into that soft tissue, that little triangle right next to the neck, picking up that trapezius and bending it. And now the same for the neck, picking up the sternocleidomastoid. It can be sore, but it doesn't feel too bad. it up, quite high up to the neck and a little manipulation. That's good. And bouncing the other shoulder. on the right. This will really help encourage release of any spasm and strain. That's a good one there. Doing really well. And now a good neck stretch over while holding the underneath of the occiput. Nice. Same again. Stretch again, so coming up 
good, really nice heavy head, heavy head. And tilting back, beautiful. This is what's going to make all the difference to those pins and needles. I could, I'd stay here for an hour. Visiting those lymph shower acupressure points in between each rib, stimulating and up into kidney 27. Yeah, great. And then I'm just going to do a little ESR. Emotional stress release. Two fingers to each side of the forehead. Tuning in. And zoning out. feeling stress leaving any head tightness any congestion anything that's stopping the flow of good energy is leaving Creating room for lightness, lightness of thought, lightness in weight, and lightness in clarity, clear thoughts, focus. Beautiful way to be light.
Okay, keeping your eyes closed, take a nice long breath. Continue with the deep breathing and visualize the oxygen circulating and then arriving at the feet. Visualize the oxygen in and around the toes, soles, top of the feet and the heels, the ankles and then slowly stretching out through each toe, soles, heels, turning into the ankles. Continue with that lovely abdominal deep breathing. And then breath to the hands, stretching out through palms, fingers, wrists, Turning at the wrist, stretching each digit, widening the palms, playing the piano with your fingers, and then breathing to the shoulders, maybe turning the shoulders in one direction, circling all the way back, and then turning the direction all the way forwards. And then when you're ready, bringing your arms up over your head for a whole body stretch. Oh, there's nothing quite like it. And bringing your arms down when you're ready and opening your eyes if you're ready to. You okay? Mm -hmm. So I've got a few things to test. Ren liver, ipsy, right contra. Okay, so can I have a little feel of the tummy? Can you put two fingers there? Doesn't matter which hand. Give me the other arm, nice and straight. I'm going to push and hold. Entirely different. Um, and liver, so a nice big flat hand. Flat, that's it and hold so much better and I'm putting a lot of weight on that lovely you can put your clothing back and right leg contra so can I have this arm this leg and hold entirely different so that's Amazing. earlier when you said I'm falling apart mm -hmm. because I was testing all the different yeah. joints and they weren't so much yeah. better yeah. and sometimes even just a bit of tweenar can repattern the pelvis which sorts out all those joints something as simple as that um, at another time if they come up I'll give the joint whichever comes up mm -hmm. some particular help mm -hmm. um, but doesn't need it now mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so Ren, liver, oh yeah, ipsy. It was this side, wasn't it? right ipsy. Is that this one? Is this one? It is this one. This arm. side, yeah. 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 I was thinking doing the valve. From oh, the and okay, that's the Houston valve yeah, over there. I don't know why I was thinking that. And we're going to push with both okay. and hold. Okay, I'd I'm like that to be head. stronger, but it is better mm. than it was. Mm. We're going to. Um, mm. improve on it every time mm. I noticed at the end of your treatment last time your, which was your first treatment we treated this and everything else but this was still a little bit soft at mm. the end so mm. there's obviously a theme there it's telling me this needs attention yeah. this this hip back yeah. here um, did, I think we already tested the ICV didn't we yeah uh, after so. the amnofu yeah. Yeah. abdominal massage yeah. so I think we're done thank you so much my pleasure really really great you really can get great. up if you want to thank you. nice and gentle with yourself how are you feeling I feel great I feel like I've had a very deep sleep it's been really relaxing oh, amazing isn't it, it? Is, it's incredible mm. it feels really rejuvenate, rejuvenating mm. yeah no it's been really relaxing amazing yeah 
you, you might have gone. I, d- I, w- I had my eyes closed, so I don't know. You might yeah. have just had a few seconds Maybe. of sleep during. I don't know. It didn't. I, I felt aware, but okay. it just felt very. I don't know. Just very, like you say, deeply relaxing, but but aware is strange. But could you hear what I was saying? Yes. Yeah. 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 But okay. Um, but yeah, I feel rejuvenated. So yeah. thank you so much. My pleasure. It was great. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Although well, we're not counting anymore. No, we're going backwards. We've got that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. Aww. So brilliant. Aww. Thank you for coming.